Hello friends, myself Aradi Mazan. Today I am going to present uh, my video on the topic Roots of Equation. First example, find the cube root of unity. And to obtain this cube root of unity, let x cube is equals to 1. This one we can write as cos of 0 plus i sin 0. Uh, we know that cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0 and therefore we get value as 1. Then Converting it into a general polar form, this x cube we can write as cos of 2n pi plus 0 plus i sin 2n pi plus 0 and then taking cube root on both sides. Therefore, we get x is equal to cos of 2n pi plus i sin 2n pi and that bracket is to 1 by 3. And then applying d theorem or using d theorem. we get x is equal to uh, cos theta plus i sin theta raised to n is cos n theta plus i sin n theta and therefore as per that it is cos of <coughs> 2 n pi by 3 plus i sin 2n pi divided by 3 where n is equals to 0 1 2 and for n is equals to 0 we get x is equals to cos 0 plus i sin 0 and that is equals to cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 therefore the first root is 1 for n is equals to 1 we get x is equals to when n is 1 we get cos of 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3 uh, this we can rewrite as cos of pi plus pi by 3 pi minus pi by 3 plus i sin of pi minus pi by 3 Therefore, minus cos of pi by 3 and sin of pi minus theta. Therefore, sin of pi by 3. It is equals to uh, cos 60. The value of cos 60 is 1 by 2. Therefore, it is minus 1 by 2 plus 
i times sin of 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 therefore that root is minus 1 by 2 plus i times root of 3 by 2 okay then for n equals to 2 we get x is equals to uh, cos of 2 to the 4, 4 pi by 3 plus i times sine of again 4 pi by 3 it is equals to uh, cos of pi plus pi by 3 plus i sin pi plus pi by 3 it is equals to cos pi plus theta is minus cos theta means minus cos of pi by 3 and the value of cos of pi by 3 is 1 by 2 therefore minus 1 by 2 and sin pi plus theta is minus sin theta means minus sin of pi by 3 sin 60 again root 3 by 2 therefore uh, uh, the four cube roots are 1 minus 1 by 2 plus i times root 3 by 2 and the third one is minus 1 by 2 minus i times root of 3 by 2 are the cube roots of unity uh, third example Solve the equation x s to 9 minus x s to 5 plus x s to 4 minus 1 equals to 0. Means we have to find out the roots of this equation. And therefore, the given equation is x s to 9 minus x s to 5 plus x s to 4 minus 1 equals to 0. Then uh, finding the factors of this, uh, from this two term I can take x s to 5 common. Uh, here it is x s to 4. Minus 1. Uh, from these two terms, last two terms, I can take 1 common. Therefore x s to 4 minus 1 equals to 0. Uh, it implies... Uh, from this two term we can take x s to 4 minus 1 common uh, remaining is x s to 5 plus 1 equals to 0 that is uh, equating each to 0 we get x s to 4 minus 1 equals to 0 and x s to 5 plus 1 equals to 0 then finding the roots of this equation as we have obtained in the first two examples. And therefore, we get x s to 4 is equal to 1. 1 means cos 0 plus i sin 0. Uh, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. Converting it into general polar form, it is cos of 
टू एन पाई प्लस जीरो प्लस आई साइन ऑफ टू एन पाई प्लस जीरो देन टेकिंग फोर रूट वी गेट डे फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस ऑफ टू एन पाई प्लस आई साइन ऑफ टू एन पाई डेट इज टू वन बाय फोर एंड देन एप्लाइंग डी मूवियर सेरम इट इज कॉस थीटा प्लस आई साइन थीटा रेस टू एन इज कॉस एन थीटा प्लस आई साइन एन थीटा एज पर डेट इट इज कॉस ऑफ टू एन पाई बाय फोर प्लस आई साइन ऑफ टू एन पाई बाय फोर एंड दिस इज इक्वल्स टू इन सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म इट इज कॉस ऑफ एन पाई बाय टू प्लस आई टाइम्स साइन ऑफ एन पाई बाय टू वेर एन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री देर फोर फोर एन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वी गेट फर्स्ट रूट एक्स वन एज कॉस जीरो प्लस आई साइन जीरो फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू वन वी गेट सेकेंड रूट एक्स टू एज कॉस ऑफ एन इज वन डेफर इट इज पाई बाय टू कॉस पाई बाय टू प्लस आई साइन पाई बाय टू फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू टू वी गेट थर्ड रूट एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू 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 गेट कैंसल मीन्स इट इज कॉस ऑफ पाई प्लस आई साइन पाई एंड फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी गेट एक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू कॉस ऑफ थ्री पाई बाय टू प्लस आई टाइम्स साइन ऑफ थ्री पाई बाय टू फर्स्ट रूट सेकेंड रूट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ यू कैन कीप दिस एज इट इज और वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ दैट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज कॉस जीरो साइन जीरो कॉस पाई बाय टू साइन पाई बाय टू लाइक दिस then solving the second equation x is to 5 plus 1 equals to 0 it implies x is to 5 is equals to minus 1 this minus 1 we can write down as cos pi plus i sin pi cos pi is minus 1 sin pi is 0 then converting in general polar form we get x is to 5 is equal to cos of 2n pi plus pi plus i sin of 2n pi plus pi uh, then taking fifth root on both side therefore we get x is equal to cos of 2n pi plus pi Plus i times sine of two n pi plus pi. That is to one by five. And then applying the Mobius theorem, it is equals to cos of two 
2n pi plus pi divided by 5 i times sin of 2n pi plus pi by 5 equation 1 or oh, equation 2 where n is equals to 0 1 2 3 and 4 the for, for this five values we require to find the roots the for, for n is equals to 0 we get first root x1 as uh, n equals to 0 5 by 5 Therefore, it is cos of pi by 5 plus i sin of n is 0, we get pi by 5, first root. Then for n is equals to 1, we get the second root as uh, it is 2 pi plus pi means it is cos of 3 pi by 5 plus i times sine of 3 pi by 5. Next, for n is equals to 2, we get third root n equals to 2, 2 to the 4, 4 pi plus pi, 5 pi by pi means it is cos of pi plus i sin pi for n is equals to 3 we get 4 root as 3 to the 6 6 pi plus pi means cos of 7 pi by 5 plus i times sine of 7 pi by 5 and lastly for n is equals to 4 as 4, 4 to the 8, 8 plus 1 therefore 9 pi therefore cos of 9 pi by 5 plus i times sine of 9 pi by 5. Therefore, these are the uh, required roots. Therefore, like this, uh, we can find the roots of any equation. Uh, in short, I will repeat the steps. Uh, first, convert that in polar form, then convert it into its general polar form and then take a uh, root, cube root or fifth root or fourth root whatever huh? and then substitute n is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 huh? to obtain the required roots. Uh, if you are watching my videos, please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for new videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.